innovation is the most important element for public transportation. And we are moving more and more people in cities and between cities. And what is very uh, clear is that we have many challenges. The first of them is, of course, the safety, because, of course, we have to make public transportation safer. It is already safe, but we can make it even more safe. But also the security, the security of the people, and now the security of the data and the cyber security becomes, of course, a big element of, of innovation. The other element is, of course, the capacity. We need to move people more and more, so we need more capacity, and this capacity is about larger trains, but also more trains on the infrastructure, higher frequency of train. We need also to go to full free system, so with no failure, so the reliability of the infrastructure and the train is becoming more and more critical, and we are looking now to a very high level of reliability. And then, of course, the connectivity. People want to go to the train, and they want to be always connected to their application and to their own environment. So a lot of innovation to make public transportation an easy journey and also a safe journey and a comfortable one. Uh, the, the main theme of, of ITF this year is the importance of governance in transportation. What's your view on that? How important do you think governance is for, for transportation? It's critical to achieve very uh, performing uh, public, trans uh, public transportation system that we have a very clear legal framework in place and a very clear governance uh, there. And of course, because of the level of capital investment and because of course of the impact of those uh, transportation system on the cities or on the region. You need to make sure that every condition for success are there since the beginning. So it's important to bring a very strong framework and to ensure that the governance enable this framework to be as robust as possible to make Zeus project very successful. We hear a lot at ITF, and, and there's been a number of, of planning sessions on it to, to this time around, about the growth of autonomous vehicles and the future of, of autonomous vehicles. How does that apply in the train sector, in the railway sector? Do you see autonomous trains as part of the future of, of the railway system? Autonomous train is not new. Uh, the technology has been there for a while and the technology has improved. And um, autonomous trains enable you to increase capacity, to increase also the safety, and also to increase the reliability. So all the key parameters are in fact there to provide a higher efficiency of your transportation system. So autonomous trains will be more and more present in order to achieve a higher performance. So now what we expect from the decision makers is that they continue to invest in the implementation of this technology. And we think that this technology will bring a very, very strong improvement of the overall public transportation. At the same time, they need to make sure that their organizations are ready to uh, accept those new technology and they are using those new technology. So it's a major change also in the organization of public uh, transportation authority at the same time. So the trend is there, the technology is there, so now it's a matter of deciding and implementing the, de the decision. What do you see as, as the big changes that are come, going to come over the next few years in the transport sector? Where, where do you think we're, we're looking for the future? I, I think that the major change uh, we perceive is um, the seamless transportation system from A to Z and uh, from your home to your office, from your home to your uh, um, vacation destination. And we see that the transportation system will be easier and easier to use, and it will be more and more seamless. You could use different modes of transportation. You can use your bicycles or your car, and then a bus or a train, and different type of trains. You can use a tram or a metro or an intercity train. But the overall journey will be much uh, more and more easy for the passenger. And what we perceive is that the, the government and the city start to realize that we have today 
all the key products and services and technology to enable that. So I think it's a great future and a very promising future for all the communities but also for the industry. And Bombardier, as a global leader, we are investing significantly in this uh, transformation and we are also promoting very innovative solutions to make the journey, the A to Z journey, easier and easier. It does seem, I'm um, just as a, a kind of casual observer, I suppose, that in the West we are swinging back towards public transportation. There's been that kind of long aversion to it and wanting to use the car and all this sort of thing. But there does, to me anyway, there seems to be a definite kind of move back towards public transportation and to letting someone else take the sort of strain of moving you around. I think that what is interesting is to look at the young generation. Um, and the, long, the young generation are in, living in a sharing economy and they are also now very easily connected to their application. And what you can see is they are moving easily from one mode of transportation to another one. What is important for them is that it is cost efficient, time efficient, and they can also enjoy the time. Because for them the time is, has a different value than in the past. And with this new generation we can feel already that public transportation now become a very, very strong solution for them to organize their journey and for them to, to travel. So I'm, I'm very optimistic uh, for the future.